Hello everyone and welcome back. When you really think about it, meeting up with someone that you have met on a dating app is really, really bizarre. It's the weirdest situation ever because you're kind of putting your trust in someone that you've never met before. You don't know who they are. You don't know if they're who they say they are. You don't know if they're respectable. You don't know if they are a good person. It is a bit weird to think about. I'm, I'm glad I didn't think too much about it when I was actively dating and single because I think that would have freaked me out a lot on top of the fact that I am also obsessed with true crime um, and so my imagination and anxiety is really overactive with all the like true crime murder cases that I am fascinated by but also petrify me. So today I wanted to put together my top 10 tips on staying safe on app dates. Safety is absolute key, it's absolute priority when you're meeting up with people online. It also puts you in a vulnerable situation because you might be having drinks with this human being that you've never met before. Obviously alcohol can affect your judgement. I just basically want you guys to stay safe when you're going on dates and so here are my top 10 tips that I used over my time of being single and that kept me really safe. Okay, tip number one sounds very dramatic but I think there's no harm in being really extra cautious about these things and that is having a safety alarm. I remember when I was in my teenage years and first started like going out of the house alone by myself, my mum got me a rape alarm and back then, this was quite a long time ago, it was a massive chunky thing which took up half of my handbag, was really bulky, really like serious looking and I was really embarrassed about carrying it around. But it is an amazing invention, it's basically where you pull a lead out of uh, an alarm and it sounds the most loud high pitched noise and really alerts people to your kind of situation and what's happening. So when I became single a couple of years ago I actually went on Amazon and purchased a couple more rape alarms just to carry around whilst I was going on all these dates. There's something about just carrying something with you that you know can really help alert people to a situation that you're in which makes you feel so much more confident even just walking home late at night back from a station to your house like just having that made me feel so much more confident and felt, made me feel like I could deal with the situation a lot better and luckily <laughs> technology has evolved a little bit since then so you can get some actually quite cute fashionable ones. One of mine I wish I, it's probably under my bed I should have dug it out it's a bright pastel pink pom-pom on a keychain and it is so disguised you would never th know what it was it just looks like a fashion accessory but I kept it on my keys and I knew that if I was in a situation that I could just whack the lead out and it would alert people and luckily as well they are quite affordable nowadays as well I will leave a link to the ones I got down below so I would highly recommend a safety alarm one thing I would say though I haven't actually spoken about this on my channel yet but my rape alarm did go off on a first date in the middle of a crowded restaurant once sitting in a restaurant on a really lovely date it was such a great date it was going really well we were having loads of fun and the alarm just went off as I picked my bag up um, I think I tugged a little too hard on the wrong like thing and it was mortifying. The entire restaurant, which wasn't a big one, it was quite an intimate one, just kind of looked around and I was just like, it's my rape alarm, I'm fine, I'm sorry, ignore me, and just like try to stuff it back in. So there is the possibility that that could happen, but luckily my date was very, like, he was cool with it, he thought it was hilarious as well. It's a good story to tell. My second top tip is to share details of either your date or where you're going with your friends and family. I always got into a habit before I went on a date of screen grabbing the guy's profile and sending it to either my friends, my housemates, or my mum and sister. Just like, this is him, this is what he looks like, this is his name, and we are going to this pub, this bar, in this area. It's something about that, having peace of mind that, unless they are, like, actually catfishing you, then you know what their name is, you know what they look like. It's just another precaution that you can take just to make sure you feel a little bit more safe in case anything was to happen. Also means that your friends can have a little bit of a spy as, as to who you're going on a date with as well, which is always fun. My third tip, again, might sound a little bit excessive and you guys are probably going to freak out over this, 
but it's actually probably my favourite tip out of all of these. There are apps you can get for your phone. I use one called Life360. The reason I use this one is because it works on both Apple and Android phones. But basically it's an app where you can create circles of friends or people and it shares your location at all times if you go into the app. This is going to sound super weird, but I have a group on there with my family so I can see my mum, my dad and my sister's locations at all times on a little map. Um, and they can see mine and then I also have a group of my housemates so we can always see where each other are. This might sound a little bit excessive and a little bit like an invasion of privacy but I can tell you for peace of mind it's just incredible. I am such a worrier and I really like the peace of mind of knowing that my mum and dad have made it to and from work safely or if there was ever another attack in London or something like that. I don't know how we quite managed without an app like this seeing and checking that everyone is safe so it's amazing for that it also means like if someone's on their way around I can check where they are so I can stick the kettle on a bit earlier like so I know when they're gonna get here and also for my housemates it's great for when we were all on dates so we could just check where they if they were where they said they were if they're coming home that evening um, and just like always see their location which I just think is great it also is great for housemates in case I'm walking around the house naked and I want to double check there's no chance of anyone walking on on me and it means that they can all keep tabs on me when I'm out on a date to see if any unusual business is going on or if I end up at the date's house at least everyone knows what their address is. Tip number four is actually another one of my favourites and when I first heard about it I thought this was amazing. It's the Ask for Angela scheme. I don't know if you guys have heard of this or have seen it around before but basically it's a scheme set up by the Metropolitan Police to reduce sexual violence and vulnerability and how it works is that there are posters in the back of the ladies loo doors so when you're sitting on the loo you can stare at this poster which says Ask for Angela and it explains that if you feel like you're in a vulnerable situation or if you're on a date that you're getting a weird vibe from or you don't feel comfortable with basically if you want to get out of a situation you are in you go to the bar you ask one of the bar staff for Angela and they will help you find a way out of the venue discreetly and safely they can either help you organize a taxi without the date or someone you don't want knowing and they can basically help action that for you which I think is an amazing scheme and should be available nationwide I have only seen it in a couple of bars and venues but it's incredible I would love to know if you guys have seen this out and about and if you've ever had to use it before I'd be really interested to hear how it has helped some people get out of a situation that they haven't wanted to be in tip number five is one that is a bit of common sense but it's basically not to overshare personal details too soon I wouldn't go messaging someone I've just um, started talking to on an app and telling them like where I work, where I live, like even the general area, I would make it very vague. And then also your full name, so your surname, because that could lead to, I don't know, stalking. Number six, another one of my favourite ones, it's one that I don't think us girls take knowledge of as much, and that is to just be savvy. If you get a weird feeling or a weird vibe from someone, if your gut is telling you that someone feels a bit dodgy, then you have to listen to that. You have to listen to your gut instinct. I think it's so important and most cases that I've been in where I have had a dodgy feeling about someone or got a weird vibe from them, I have actually ended up being right about. We really don't give enough praise to our body and how it reacts to someone. And so yeah, if you get a weird vibe from someone, there is absolutely no harm in wanting to leave that situation early. Same goes for even if you're talking to someone over message and they're being a bit weird or you just get a weird vibe from them, listen to it. That's okay, that is allowed and it would save us a lot of hurt, I think, if we all took that into account. Tip number seven is to meet in a busy spot. Try and meet your date in a location that has a lot of other people around. Don't go meeting them in like a secluded park or an alley or a street, somewhere like that. Choose a popular bar or a pub or even at an outside a busy station. Just being sensible with where you meet them is also important because if they turn up and they're not who you think they are or they look slightly different or again if you get a weird vibe you're more able to easily leave the situation. Tip number eight would be not to ever leave your drink unattended. Again a very obvious one but very easy to do if you're on a date. Unfortunately there are 
horrible people out there who do go around spiking drinks and I think on a date it leaves you in a very vulnerable situation for that to happen because you are putting your trust in someone you've only just met to not do something like that. Even if you're out and about in a pub, in a bar, try not to ever leave your drink unattended just to avoid that happening. Tip number nine is a bit of an odd one but I think it's a really good tip to try and plan your route home before you go on the date. I am a massive lightweight and it would take me like one glass of wine to get me quite tipsy but knowing that I had like City Mapper on my phone which is an app which plans your route home already and set up to go with how I could get home meant that I didn't feel um, in an awkward situation if I had had too much to drink and like I would know how I could get home basically. Also even putting a little bit of money, extra money in your purse so that you can get a taxi home safely. If you feel like the vibe is a bit weird, then that's also a very good idea. And tip number 10 is the age old trick of getting a friend to help you if you want to leave the situation. If the Ask for Angela scheme isn't available, then maybe you just have a code word you can text one of your friends or your mum or someone in your life to give you a call and be like, oh, I really need you to come home, there's been an emergency. I know it's a bit obvious, but if you don't feel confident enough saying to your date, oh, I'm not feeling this, then um, getting a friend to give you a call to get out of that situation is a good, good, a good old trick. So they are my top 10 tips on staying safe on app dates. I really think this is quite important. Like if this video helped one person, um, stay safe on an app date then that would be my job done I would be so happy I think dating is so fun and so exciting but it's so important as well to also stay safe on them because unfortunately there are horrible people out there in the world I love you guys all I would love to hear your top tips on staying safe down below as well if you have friends that are single and you feel like they could listen to this be sure to send it around and I will see you again next week Mwah. Boom. <coughs>